Hello everyone and welcome to, well first and foremost, what the uh, title of the video is probably already betrayed to be a channel update video, but more than that we're going to be uh, just having a glance and checking out a little game or perhaps a little toy, I'm not sure game is really the word for it, it's, it's more of a procedural art toy. Townscaper. Some of you may already uh, already know the game, but uh, we are going to be just playing around with this in the background while I chat. It's an opportunity for us to have a little little uh, little conversation. Uh, I think it is uh, a bit overdue. Uh, certainly, uh, there are some things uh, that I feel that uh, we should talk about, and uh, namely the, the first very big elephant in the room. That is for a, a couple of things back there. I more or less dropped off the internet, and I am terribly sorry that that worried some of you. It is both reassuring and desperately, desperately distressing to imagine that people actually were paying attention to where I was and worrying that I was okay. It's never something that I've, I've managed to get my head around, despite uh, how long it feels like I've been doing YouTube now that people actually do care. But uh, thank you so much for everyone who reached out in DMs. I am I am doing okay. Um, we will be discussing things in this video, and that hopefully it'll uh, give you a bit of a better idea of, of where I'm at. Um, and also we're going to be discussing just the channel moving forward, and also the second channel. Now, if you didn't know I had a second YouTube channel, well, first and foremost, well done, now you do. The name of the channel is Avac After Hours, and you can find links both on the front page of my, uh, of this YouTube channel, and also in the video description of most of the uh, more recent videos. Uh, secondly, that was probably my fault, because I'm actually fantastically bad at advertising these sorts of things. Who knew? This uh, this is a lovely little game, by the way, because it refuses to let you be symmetrical. Try as you might, you just have to get past that uh, lack of symmetry, and you can build some really amazing things once you actually stop caring about it. Or rather, you start incorporating the chaos into your designs. Uh, it is actually quite possible. Oh, I put a house there. Oh, well, I'm not going to take it away. That house now lives there. Let's give it a little bit more room around the house. There we go. Now. First and foremost, then, the the the, the big thing, I, I did kind of uh, slip away for a little bit there, uh, a, for about a week, I think it was, or it felt a bit like a week. Um, the reasons are varied, and I don't really want to get into the uh, ins and outs of it, but suffice it to say, I was having a bit of a rough time. Um, I have done fairly well for myself in that uh, I've managed to get so far without without letting the, the the grim realities of life kind of catch up to me, despite the the situation that we've been dealing with at the moment uh, in life in general. But uh, yeah, some stuff was going down, and uh, it was while I was playing Carrion and um, Let's Play that I was playing. I was hopelessly enjoying that game. I mean, I was so enthusiastic, so so bouncy at the start of every recording, because I was having such a time just, you know, roaming around, eating all of the scallywags who were trying to put me in prison. And then I, listening back during editing on some of the last episodes, I realized, hmm, I sound flat. I sound like someone who is trying very hard to make people think that he's having as much fun as he was before, but isn't anymore. And that was not in any way a fault of the game. That was because I was not feeling good. And uh, when I realized that, I, uh, I decided, right, okay, I need to take a, take a little bit of a break and, and figure out what's going on in my head. And so that's exactly what I did. And as a result, then, uh, a lot of people were a little bit concerned because uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm awfully bad at uh, letting people know what's going on while it's going on. Uh, I guess it comes from, uh, in a way, I I don't want to, I don't want to go to someone with a problem. I would much prefer to go to them with a solution, or if not a solution, at least something a little bit more optimistic than ah, everything's going wrong. I feel awful all the time. I don't know what to do with myself, but I wish this pain would go away, and so I don't. <laughs> I really should probably, but uh, I find it very hard to. Uh, so instead, I took some time, uh, tried to figure out what was going on. I had no idea it was going to take as long as it did. Uh, but honestly, at that point, the, the days were kind of blending into each other a little bit, and uh, I didn't really notice. Uh, but then, you know, I, I kind of got a handle on things, and uh, I was starting to feel a little bit optimistic about uh, what I felt was going to be a solution. One way or another, I was going to come out of it. Uh, I'd, I'd made a plan of action, and uh, I, was, I was getting 
to that. And now, now we're here. The plan of action has been enacted, and uh, indeed, that's going to uh, going to result in me taking another week off. I'm sorry to say, but uh, it is necessary. Uh, I hope you can all forgive me for that. But uh, when I come back. I hope very much to be my my usual bouncy self and we can get back into all of the wonderful games that I have actually put off playing over the, the last little bit because I felt I wouldn't really be able to do them justice. It, this is my job, but it's also my passion. And I, aside from being the sort of person who would rather not do a job than do it poorly, I really wouldn't like to shortchange some of the wonderful games that have come out recently by playing them when I'm not in the right mood to be able to enjoy them the way I feel that they deserve to be enjoyed. So, uh, yes, we've got uh, got quite a few things on the docket as it happens, and I'm really excited to be able to show them to you. And the fact that I am excited about it is a very, very good change, in, in my opinion. I'm actually quite happy to be able to say that I am as excited as I am. I like this little area, though I'm not really sure why we have we got these houses on stilts. I'm not sure about that at all. I think we, hmm, you know what, maybe we should, we should have a little place just off here that connects up to it, but not not directly. Maybe we'll have some little stairs going down or something, little little island area that maybe is only approachable by boat. Yes, I, I quite like the idea of having a little little boat area over here. And I, I can imagine that uh, people will quite often just, uh, just wave or maybe signal their friends across the way rather than, you know, hopping in the boat and going down to the local pub, which is probably somewhere around here. Uh, we'll make it a reasonable size though. Uh, I'm not really sure what, what purpose will be over here. Maybe, maybe it's just some of the natural landmass. So they, they just built up wherever they could. I like that idea. But we're going to have a little bit of a taller tower. We're going to make it a nice bold red colour. I quite like that. Ooh, I very much like the, the little stairs down there. Can we make a little arch? <gasps> we can. Oh, that's glorious. All right. Well, uh, this is now staying. Um, let's continue taking this up though. I, I want this to be a fairly tall affair. There we go. A little, little back door, a little side door. Have we got a little door out here? Oh, that's gorgeous. I like it a lot. Yes, I very much like this one. But yes, I'm going to be going away for a week. Now, what that means is we're probably not going to see too much going on on the main channel. I will try to have some stuff going uh, live while I'm away, but it really does come down to how much time I have to prepare for it, uh, which isn't very much at this point. Uh, we're, we're probably talking a matter of hours or about a day, more or less. But uh, also in that time, I've got to prepare for, for my time away because I'm actually uh, going to go on, on a little bit of a break. And uh, I may actually, I, I'm not, I'm not going to paint this as anything other than is, I might just flat out decide that I want to spend the entirety of that time hanging out with Lady Shelab and the ferrets before I leave. I like that little area. I love those little towers. I wonder how big... Ooh, could we make a giant tower? I bet we could. I'm not sure I want that, though. I think this place looks quaint without some huge palatial monstrosity just jutting out of the water. Um, we'll see. We'll see. But uh, moving on. So uh, while I'm away... Whilst there may be a bit of a bit of a drought of content on the main channel, my second channel will continue to have quite a lot of content on there, mostly because that content has already been recorded. Now, the second channel exists for a few reasons. Again, if you weren't aware that I had a second channel, do not worry. Quite a lot of people didn't. I'm awful, awful, awful at actually sharing that kind of information. I do try. I, I, I mention it here and there in various series, but that is an awful way of doing it because if you just don't happen to watch that series, then you won't know that I've got a second channel. But uh, I've had a second channel uh, on YouTube for quite some time, actually, but it was only really recently that I started putting any content out there. Um, it is, it's a bit of an experiment, but it, it's also kind of a a known quantity. It's something that a lot of my uh, my peers in content creation have kind of recommended for quite some time. Quite a few of them have second channels for much the same reason that I have mine. And that is that, uh, well, the way that YouTube works is that not everything you put on YouTube is going to do well. And the things that don't do well can have a knock-on effect, kind of a secondary effect. It isn't just that that video didn't do particularly well, you didn't get that that many views on it, but that because that video didn't do well, the channel as a whole, it's not so much it gets heavily suppressed, but rather the videos on the channel will start to be shown a little 
bit less. If, if you if you put up a lot of series that do particularly poorly, um, then the, the next video you put up, even though normally that would do quite well, will do a little bit worse. And that's because, well, for honestly, very, very good business reasons. I'm not going to pretend they're not. Uh, the reality is YouTube want people to be on the site. And if you if they send out a notification and hardly anyone clicks on it, they think, well, people are just aren't interested in this. But we want to show them stuff that they're interested in because when someone is engaged and interested, they'll watch more. After that video is finished, they'll go watch a different video. And we really want them to watch lots of videos. Um, so if your content isn't really hasn't really got that oomph factor, then they just might not show it as much. Um, they would prefer to... It's not so much that they're refusing to show your content, they're choosing to show other people's content that does have that oomph factor. Um, oomph factor is now going to be my chosen method of describing this phenomena, and I think it's glorious. I hope you agree. Oh, I've lost the stairs. I really like the stairs, though. Oh, now I've got too many stairs. Ah, oh, the struggle is real. Okay, we'll just go with that. But, uh, so yes, I've got a second channel. Now, in a nutshell, that channel exists for me to put things on that channel that I don't think would necessarily do particularly well on my main channel. But uh, that can range from, well, at the moment, the only thing that's been going up there is my stream archives. That is not the only thing that will go up there. I am strongly considering in the future, um, kind of operating on, the, on a, a basis of, if a series starts to do poorly, then I might just switch which channel I'm uploading it to. Uh, the second channel more or less exists as a place where I don't have to worry about how well a series is doing. If I've recorded it, I'll put it up there. If I'm playing the series and it starts to slow down, even though I'm almost all the way through, <clears throat> Chimera Squad, then I can still upload that to my second channel. I'm not trying to grow my second channel, though don't get me wrong, it would please me greatly if I saw the second channel become successful in its own right, but I am trying to grow the audience on my main channel, and that does require that the videos that I put out reach new people, reach eyes that haven't ever seen my channel before and that they might want to check out my channel. And when I upload a video that performs particularly weakly, then that suppresses the amount that YouTube wants to show any of my videos, ones that come after it. Even if that would normally be a fairly successful video in its own right, it will be it will be less willing to take a risk on showing my content to someone else rather than, I don't know, some other creator who there's a more sure bet that their content will draw in the clicks. So with the second channel, it is an opportunity not only for me to store my streams for those who, who don't get on with Twitch or Twitch's VOD system, but also a place where I can put up the weaker series, the ones where I'm fairly certain that only a niche part of my audience want to watch it, but that's still a dedicated part of my audience that are very saddened when that that series just comes to an abrupt halt. And trust me, I feel horrible when that happens. It is purely a business decision that guides that sort of thing, because I make a point of not playing games unless I'm enjoying playing them. And if I've stopped enjoying something, I have no problem expressing that. It's like, okay, well, this was great for the first 20 hours, but yeah, it's kind of just fallen off a cliff now, and uh, I'm not in the business of inflicting misery on myself. So uh, thank you for the first 20 hours. It was a blast, but uh, that's, that's your lot from me. But when it just kind of stops, that's because I've had to make a really difficult business decision and say, okay, well, I've got a finite amount of time, but all of these games that I could be playing, and I know that if I play this game instead of this one, I will be able to pay my rent this month. No, we need to take that away so there's a little tunnel there. In fact, maybe we should take all of that away. Yeah, there we go. That looks, that looks lovely, actually. Maybe I could even bring that back. Yeah. No, I like that. I like that this is all connected. And this little island remains unique in that it is completely disconnected. I mean, you know, you have to walk a long way if you want to go from there to there because you've got to go all the way across. But yeah, still, it's it's quite nice. I would like to make a, another kind of uh, built-up little section like this, though. Mul multiple flat areas with, with more and more things built on top. Let's, let's go ahead and uh, portion out a little island for that though but uh, the second channel is generally going to have a lot more content going up on it uh, because it's, it's a lot easier for me to produce content for that uh, i've already done the stream the content has already been recorded so i may as well just upload that as well 
as a result, um, first and foremost, while I'm away, obviously, uh, content will be still going up, and uh, quite a lot of content. There's already hundreds of videos on the second channel, and typically uh, they, they'll go up like five or six a day. Uh, sometimes they can go up as many as 13 a day. So that comes around to uh, kind of a more unique way that I, I uh, push uh, videos out on the second channel. I only send a notification to the sub feed for the first video in any batch of videos that I upload to it because sometimes I might upload five or six 30 minute sections from a stream or, or episodes if I were to be recording things. And I'm only gonna notify you about the first one. Just understand that if you see the second channel in your notifications, then every 15 minutes after that, that notification went out, probably another video for like three or four videos will be will be going live. So by the time you finish the first one, you can go straight in to watch the second one if you have the time. And if you don't, then for example, maybe you were just having a lunch break and you didn't have a whole lot of time to spend watching a, an hour long, long uh, stream segment or something like that, then you don't need to. You can come back to it when you get home or on your next lunch break, if that's what you would prefer. Uh, and that's why I'm, I'm uploading them uh, in short to uh, chunks as well. And it's just because someone said, oh, well, you know, it's much more convenient for me to do it this way. And I was like, it, it, it barely takes any extra effort for me to upload them like that. So sure, if it makes your life easier, I only need one person to need it that way for it to be worth me, uh, worth me investing in that. So uh, there we go. If you see a notification, there are probably a lot more videos about to go live on that channel. So uh, keep your eyes peeled. And again, by the time you finish the first one, you can probably have a look around. If you're watching it from the playlist, then it'll probably just immediately start playing the next one. As for what you're going to be able to find on my second channel, at the moment I'm uploading Final Fantasy VII Remake and Seven Days to Die. But there's a lot of content there. Some of my uh, collab streams with Wanderbots, uh, some Desperados, some of my Oxygen Not Included streams, so on and so forth. So there's quite a lot of stuff there. As for the main channel, in terms of uh, news of what's uh, on the docket, I've got a couple of games in mind. A new run of Civilization VI with all of the DLC, that's a possibility. There's also, of course, Stardew, as well as Story of Seasons. Lady Shelab has been telling me a lot that I would probably adore that, and I have no reason to doubt her on this one. Uh, additionally, there's, there's a spattering of new indie titles out, Littlewood, for example, and some of the golden oldies like Cataclysm as well. So there's quite a lot to look forward to in the coming days when I return. I will be getting back home on the 13th of August, but that about wraps up everything I had to uh, to let you know about in this update video. And because I'm sure some of you will, are going to ask, the ferrets are all doing amazingly well. In fact, better than well. They're putting on their winter weight at the moment, so their, their fur coats are soft, as you can imagine and they they are quite chunky actually they've all got full little bellies pretty much 24 7 they uh they are pretty much tummies with teeth again right now which is always actually kind of endearing even though it sounds horrific it sounds kind of like carrion actually thinking about it but nevertheless that is it for this update video i hope that has answered a couple of questions i will be able to check the comments while i'm away and uh, although i probably shouldn't i probably will anyway so if you do have any pressing questions then by all means ask them down below or if you happen to be on the dapper Dell discord then i will probably be hanging out there as well but that is going to be it from me i hope you're all doing very very well and keeping safe and until next time do take care